clad piece of story there. I'm going to suck your mother and put in the fuck up on it and have a fing in the heart. I never fing in my time for God. Suck your mother. Blessed day my viewers and my subscribers. Before we jump into the topics, may I beg you to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now the topics coming up in this video. Dancehall artist Ken gets charged and prevented from boarding his flight after argument ensued. Spice personal DJ authorized bail conditions get eased and is now allowed to travel. Shabdan corruption hearing get extended. Shakari Richardson call the police and her ex-girlfriend Janik Brown and Star Dawkins reveal that she and Lincoln 3 that are cousin and that's the reason why they broke up. So the first thing we're going to talk about is dancehall artist King. You see my people? So an article just come out, um, would I say about 10-15 minutes ago. And um, basically it shows us King right now, he's in some little trouble. You understand what I'm saying, people? So I get into the story right now, and that way you guys can get an understanding of what's going on. You see my people? So it's a dancehall artist King prevented from boarding flight and is charged following argument at NMIA. Dancehall entertainer King was reportedly preventing from boarding a flight this afternoon and slapped with several charges from an argument with airport's official. Skeng given name is Kevin Douglas. The 21-year-old was charged for a disorderly behavior and restraining arrest. Reports are shortly before 2 o'clock this afternoon. Skeng went to the Norman Manley International Airport where he attempted to board a flight. The police and argument developed between Skeng and a member of port security. Reports are that the gunman chief DJ started behaving in a disorderly manner during the argument leading to his arrest and charge. Skeng was offered station bail. However, he is to appear before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on June the 21st. Skeng shot to local and international dancehall stardom with his breakout single Gunman Shift. He also gaining international recognition with one of his latest songs, Protocol, done in collaboration with incarcerated dancehall entertainer Tommy Lee Sparta. You see, my people, so them say Skeng did a behave out of character and him and one of the port security them catch up on Ray 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 and I guess him did a say certain things to the person and him did a resist arrest and all type of things. Him never get for board him flight and them thing. They see it. So all the people are react to it because some people even feel like says King I get too hype right about now. So I show a few of the comments them. One person say, guess he's forget where he's at. This ain't Jamaica, bro, bro. Somebody say forgive him is the Mali in his system. He is just <laughs> he is just a victim. You see me, somebody say, yeah man, bad mind a little youth, it a go help, kiss me teeth. Somebody say, humble calf, suck the most milk. Somebody say, fully done, kiss me teeth. So, you can see the people that react to it. Some people feel like same need to be more humble and them thing, you see me, but you don't know, say, I just king steer, and I mean, I don't promote them thing, of people, you understand? Because we know that personally, if you know if the port security good at this, man, them young youth you nowadays now go take no this just like that. I just saw the thing, go, you understand? Even though sometimes you have to take this, you know, you see me, especially like how you want to board the flight and you, you, you not get to do it. But anyway, people are that are going at least him get bail quick and fast and thing and thing. You see me, they only arrest him for a little time, but them still it end up a whole lamp on him. You see it, people? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Spice personal DJ Atarice. You don't know recently, him did end up in a, some domestic issue overseas and you know, him they get arrested and stuff like that. But it kind of seems like he must see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel right about now as his bail conditions kind of get ease up and him actually I get for go travel and you don't know spice of our upcoming shows them come up and him after they with our for do the you know our personal DJ so obviously him play a big role and stuff like that so I get into the article so I understand what's going on is it so it's a hot rice bail condition is to allow travel doctor visit with wife popular dancer selector and promoter hot rice is in high spirits after amendments were made to the condition of his bail as he waits as he awaits for a domestic dispute trial in which his wife of nine years who is currently three months pregnant fired as G-U-N-S-H-O-T at him after he allegedly tried to S-T-R-A-N-G-L-E her. Hatterise, whose given name is Harold Morgan, is charged with aggravated battery of a pregnant woman and battery by strangulation. He was released on a 1,500 US bond on May the 13th. On May the 18th, the Broward County Court offered that the popular selector bail conditions be modified 
to allow for travel nationwide for employment purposes. According to court documents seen by Dan Salmag, he was also permitted to transport the complaints his wife to and from any of her doctor's appointments. He is being represented by public defender Gordon Weeks. Hatteras took to Instagram to celebrate the victory by posting a reel of himself on Saturday, May the 21st, 2022, with a suitcase and a carry-on. Hashtag time for the streets, God and time, he captioned the clip. His subsequent post indicated that he was traveling to New York. Hatteras is also contracted for shows in Houston, Texas, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Maryland in the coming weeks, according to court documents. According to a police report, Broward County cops responded to the domestic disturbance at 12.30 a.m. on Wednesday, May the 11th, and observed that Morgan and his wife were in verbal dispute and that had turned the complaint alleged that the dispute started in a vehicle which Morgan wanted to depart with. However, the victim did not want him to. Morgan's wife told the cops he began to C-H-O-K-E her with one hand while poking her head with the other hand. While doing so, Morgan was saying he would M-U-R-D-E-R her. The complaint read, according to the wife, she pulled out her registered strap 9mm hand Ray Ray and fired Khan at him, which went out the driver's side door and damaged a nearby vehicle. Morgan then called 911 according to the reports. Morgan has denied putting his hands on wife. However, a relative of Morgan's wife told the popo that she was on the phone with the victim during the incident and confirmed that she could hear a struggle that sounded like they were wrestling and then they actually heard Khan. Hatteras is the queen of dancehall spice official DJ according to his Instagram bio. The Kingston 13 native is also known for his Dairy Thursday event. Hatteras won Selector of the Year Award at Uptown Mondays in 2017. You see it, people. So hopefully this can get resolved in the right way. And, you know, if him really I put him on spanner, him not do it. You understand? Because at the end of the day still, we know say some woman kind of get, you know, them say certain things that make your blood get boiled and them things about you have to learn to control yourself, especially when you're there overseas in a freedom country. Yo, you know want to put your hands on a woman over them places. You understand what I say, people? I mean, you know want to do that in general, you know, but you have certain places where they not tolerate them things, they none at all. You understand what I say? And America is definitely that place. But and that's what's going on as it relates to Atterrise. You see, my people? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Shabdan's corruption hearing being extended. You see, people? So this is what the article I say. Linval Shabathamsa Jr., popularly known as Shabdan, and who was freed of a gun-related charges on April the 7th, once again faced the law in Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Criminal Court for a separate case of bribery. Yes, I went to court today, but the case was put off until the 9th of June. As the judge stated, the additional information was needed from Indicom over the processing of my car as police fired Ray Ray over my head and it damaged my vehicle, he told Dancehall Mark today shortly after court. The popular Dancehall producer is accused of offering an officer $2 million to get rid of an illegal strap in a case he had been previously charged with. He was charged with a breach of the Corruption Prevention Act, Section 14, Subsection 2, which is considered a greater offence than attempt bribery. Though the producer is in good spirits, he fears for his life and contends his innocent in all cases. When police stopped me, they told me to turn on the roof light, and I did it. They said to hold out my hand, and I did it. That was when I heard a con fired, so I went down and the ground and told them not to fire any can so that is what my attorney donald hugh is asking about in regards for a report being made shabdan is one of the veteran dub dj and producer linval thompson some of his productions include vibes cartel anywhere that squash money fever tj henny and weed vibes cartel and tj up to gaza among other trending contemporary hit dancehall songs you see it, people, so you don't know that go. Um, I'm sure when I did hear that case yeah, from a long time, say, so, you know, him did a try to bribe the officer and them thing about. Well, I watch and see him beat one case already, you know, so don't be surprised if him beat that one here. You understand? <laughs> Politics watch. Must you watch that one, you know, if you see if him go be. <laughs> 
you know, I'm going to leave that alone, yeah, my people. But let me know where you think about this in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Shakari Richards' ex-girlfriend, Janet Brown, basically revealing that um, Shakari did call the Popo Panar. You know what I'm people? And she actually made a couple of snaps, which I'm going to show to you guys. You see, me even talk about it on my next channel. But through my notes, someone wouldn't know subscribe to that page, we definitely have to bring it over here as well. You see, people? So listen to what Shakari Richards' ex-girlfriend have to say. And you guys can tell more anything. Shall I use alkaline and throw shades after Shakari? <laughs> Listen to this, my people. Come here, say straight. Say, go police. Oh, what the f fuck, lad? They have a f fuck, lad, piece of story there. No, son, your mother, I'm putting the f fuck police in have a f in the heart. I never f in my time for those. Son, your mother. They have no f in the heart. No, they don't expect this. But you know only power and teach them to respect this. So oh, mother, I work for your fing self. But now stop fing stress that. And so your mother every time I remember so now I try to shut up, man. So your mother. 534, go write down that. Every fuck up lot in the take notes, and if you can't fing take notes out for the fing true. Take notes for the all for the fing read. Write that down. Put that in your fing notes. Since you want fing lot if I'm phone at the fing time. people so that is what's going on and you don't know so this seem like a back and forth situation when she goes about some make a post then shakari go goes about some make some little subliminal um tweets over up on twitter then she go come back and make more videos and it's just a back and forth because these two females definitely hot-headed mother say you see it people so that is what's going on. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Lincoln Tree Dot and Star Darkins. You see my people and boy the story it's such a weird one because I don't know how I react after finding say yo me and somebody there for so long and then them turn out for be my cousin. How would I react? You see me? Worse if y'all yo imagine if kids did involve in this. Anyway so the story I say. Star Dawkins says she and Lincoln 3 that are cousins, which led to their breakup. Star Dawkins revealed she and Lincoln 3 that are cousin, which was the reason for their highly publicized breakup. In the latest fixed interview, Star Dawkins revealed that the real reason she and fellow artist Lincoln 3 that broke up was because they found out they were cousins. In the latest sit down, the upcoming dancehall artist spoke about her music, her lyrics about doing certain type of, you know, sexual acts and stuff, and this in the Gaza dance. And vibes cartel and she even touched on her relationship with Lincoln 3 that when asked about the breakup Dawkins confirmed that it was Lincoln who broke up with her he did break up with me and everyone thinks I broke up with him she began I hate bringing this up and it's something we keep private I'm here I might as well say it we found out we were cousins because we were cousins we had to separate Lincoln is my cousin like actual cousin so we broke up she said if that's not enough cringe for you, the fix house Nara pressed for Darkin's position on the whole matter as it sounded like she was fine with continuing the relationship. So you wanted to continue the relationship after you found out you were cousins? Nara asked. Didn't you used to play Dolly House with your cousins and do some things with your cousin? She asked Nara. That's Dolly House, not Ray Ray Ray. The host told her. Star, however, quickly answered, wasn't our thing looking like a Dolly House? It was other Dolly's in Involved. It was always some stuff going on. Star Darkin is known for her business cookie wash. She and Lincoln dated on and off for several years and had also a popular YouTube channel called Lincoln and Star Live. In 2018, the couple had a public blow up as she dragged her, as he dragged her for putting their personal life on social media and stuff like that. Is it my people? I mean, I read out the full article, but basically she reveals to them a cousin and I, mean, I feel like she should have kept that to herself.
yourself. Big woman thing. I feel like she should have keep that to herself. There's some things we enough to come out and say because right now people are going to look for one and talk about, you know, when I boil good soup and them things. They can't know say people love to talk about cousin and cousin boil good soup and them things. But it's wrong. But at the same time, people, just imagine you're there with a girl for like six, seven, eight, nine years and you all breed it and then you find out, say, what? Well, are your cousin and thing? How you that react to that? I don't know, people. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until we drop the next video. I'm out.